Hey, what is up YouTube? I'm back again with another video. So I'm going to be going with you guys through all the variants of the body armor vest with three force color collar um, and including the M69 vest, but they're not all called the M69 vest and I'll get into that once we take a look at our first vest here. So here is the first vest called that had the name body armor fragmentation protective with the three force collar if you look at the federal stock number it is 8470-823-7372 this number the 823 is what makes this vest so special that and the epaulets you'll notice that because it has the epaulets with the collar and it is an 823 this means that this is a this was a part of the first six month production of this vest. After six months, they stopped including them with the shoulder epaulets. And you'll see the most common one, which I'm about to bring into next. You'll also notice is that there's no stiffeners throughout the vest at all. So this is very easy to bend and fold. And it's very loose, just like the M1952A. Next, they revised it with the don't know if the camera's gonna focus on that. There we go. With the 8470-122. 122, that's what makes this vest stand out. So this is the, in theory, the same vest. The body armor vest with three force collar. You'll notice just like the 823 as the snap and zipper closure just like this one, but they took off the epaulets and they added stiffeners. So you'll notice that this vest doesn't want to fold in as much as the 823s did. The next revision to it was this. So they took off the uh, snap and zipper closure and added velcro where the metal snaps used to be on the pockets or on the front closure here they also shortened up the grenade hangers its tag is green unlike the white ones and it has the 122 federal stock number however the end changed from uh, 1301 to 1302. This one, the stiffeners are even more prominent in the vest and it's very hard to shape it towards your body better. That's why this one does not have laces because if I were to lace it up, the way that I would store it would technically be damaging the vest. These are both size large. This one is extra large. This one was technically around uh, for the Vietnam War. However, there's not really any evidence to suggest that USGIs had it during the Vietnam War. Maybe an embassy guard had one in 1975, but that's a huge maybe. At that point, because they were all Marines, you would be better off with an M1955 flak jacket if that's what you were trying to portray. So out of all the three of them, this is the only true M69. These are both body armor vests with the three force collar. The 823s also had later on, they took off the epaulets. So they might look just like this, except the tag will say 823 instead of 122. Between the three of these, the absolute most common is the 122 with the stiffeners with the collar and those are the three different variants of body armor vests with the three force collar and the m69 if you guys have any questions about these things or want to know want to try to know more about them then just go ahead and let me know um oh and another thing before i take off is that these were uh 12 layers of ballistic nylon um not Kevlar. Anyways, guys, so that's going to wrap it up for this video. If you guys have any questions on these, again, just go ahead and let me know. I hope you guys learned something new. I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and as always, have a nice day.